Welcome back to The Bite, your source for entertainment news both in the Gator Nation and around the country. I'm Lauren Crawford. I'm Andrea Newport-Jones. And I'm Bobby Desmond. We're here to bring you all the entertainment news you could want from the biggest celebrities and fashion statements to more local coverage from right here in Gainesville, Florida. And speaking of Gainesville, I've been running all around trying to get to all of my F-Book traditions. Have you guys completed the 40 to get your medallion? Well, I'm actually a sophomore, so well, I have skipper. some time. <laughs> yeah, but I'm... You guys are graduating yep. and I'm so sad. Just two weeks. I have two weeks yeah. to get 40 traditions done. I'm stressed out about it, but <laughs> I, I really want the medallion. My outfit won't look complete. You yeah. should have come to the UF Tradition you Keepers bucket me, list tour. We'll talk about that me. off camera. It was this Thursday. I got a chance <laughs> to, you know, tour around the campus, get to all the spots, and I got to take a little behind the scenes tour of Century Tower. I climbed all 11 and a half floors to get to the top. That's have you guys much, ever been to the top? Keep bragging. Keep <laughs> bragging, Bobby. That's have you guys like way ever been too to the much top? cardio for me. I just said you can invite me. Invite me. Well, <laughs> I can barely get through like the second floor of my building. I'm not climbing 11 climbing and a half floors. No, no, no. No. Well, since you guys didn't get to climb to the top, you do get to see a little behind the scenes look. Our very own Tanya Borsellino is going to show us in, in the note. Century Tower is one of UF's greatest treasures, and today we're going to take a look inside. So I'm here with Melissa, and she's going to be the one taking us up to the tower to play. You ready? Yep. All right, let's go. So how many floors are there? for one of our favorite segments here on the bite biter Yay. you guys know how this one should work it's just like tinder if you like what you see swipe right and if you don't swipe left this week we're talking about coachella fashion first up we have paris hilton looking very parisy as we can see um <laughs> in like all white she's wearing like little cat ears it's a typical, yeah, it's a little Ariana Grande. Lace goddess, that's what I said, lace goddess. I think she looks cute and fun. It's like all white lace. Yeah, I give her credit for going the all white route. That's really hard to keep all white clean. Millionaires can do it. Like, Millionaires okay. can keep white Paris clean. Hilton though, like, do you know how old she is? She's like 30 something 36, years old. 36, 35, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm just <laughs> like, she's too old. She's probably like 78. But 78, she, that's she, accurate. And she looks so like flouncy and girly and I really like it, so I think we can all. I, we can agree to swipe right, but I just want to say I love the look very much so, and maybe one day you'll see me in it, just saying, because I really want to go to Coachella, and oh, that yeah. was, that's no. what I want to wear. So, okay, yeah. well then, swipe right. <laughs> I think we can all decide. Next up, we have Kendall and Kylie, the new princesses of Coachella. I think you just say princesses of the world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, don't, don't go that far. I, it's because Vanessa Hudgens is not here at Coachella this year, because she's on Gigi on Broadway. <laughs> yeah. That's another story. Uh, yeah, for another and time. sentiments <laughs> aside, um, but um, yeah, Kelly and Kendall. I don't understand this look. I don't know. I feel like they usually kill it at Coachella. However, mm -hmm. I think maybe they overthought it a little 
because I'm not loving the man Bermuda shorts on Kendall. No, the at shorts all. are terrible. It's and trying to be they're trying to be like one step ahead of the trend. Yeah. And Kylie looks ridiculous. She I, looks like a raspberry lollipop. The look isn't know. bad. It's the like hair a blue raspberry. The I the hat is oh terrible on Kylie. The hat is absolutely terrible. I kind of like the weird robe, like Pope I robe like that. thing. Yeah, I like that. She could have worked with that, but the hat just okay. It has to she be stole really it from teal, some, teal, like with the teal, from teal, a homeless person teal or something. Hair. <laughs> it has to be really hot in the desert, right? Yeah. But she has a full like head of hair, a hat, a robe. Like that a is wig hot. On, like that's, that's hot. not no, and that's the, not practical. The teal hair, the teal hair, the purple hair, the pink hair. It's kind of getting old to me. Yeah. It seems yeah. a little 2011. Like yeah, I we go agree. overboard though yeah. with this. I think we can all agree to swipe, swipe left. left. Absolutely. And then next we have Fergie. I think oh she kind of looks like Janis Joplin reimagined in this weird I can see it. I can Coachella see it. thing. This picture really reminds me of the beginning of Black Eyed Peas, at least when they first started to get really popular in like the 2004 time. Like they With used a lot to of wear, layers. they used to wear a lot of layers. Well, I am always had a lot of scarves and the weird hats, and Fergie did that, the weird thing too. So it reminds me a lot of that, but it's not 2004 anymore. It's not even 2014. It's no, 2015. That's is, over a decade ago. Coachella to, is supposed to be effortless. That's what yeah. it's known for. An effortless grunge, bohemian, chic. And this looks like she thought about it for months. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's what I think and we're seeing a lot, too, is people yeah, trying, trying to hard. be Coachella. Yes, like, trying too just, hard. Just like, be comfortable, be cool. Be cool, and like, that's a lot of scars. Mm -hmm. It's hot in the it's desert, why do people get this? Like, I wanna go to the desert and be wearing like, a bathing suit. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. Not yeah. all of that, it's too much. Yeah, I think swipe left, left. absolutely. And then last but not least, we have Gigi Hadid and Sarah Hyland, and they're both rocking this kind of like mid-length trend here um, with this, Gigi's wearing this like kind of canvasy dress with stripes, and um, Sarah's wearing this like leather vest um, skirt ensemble. I really like Sarah's outfit because it's still trendy, but it's simple and minimalistic, which is what we're yes, talking about. Yes, it's exactly what to we're me, talking to about. To me though, uh, Sarah's is a little too plain. It only has the two colors. I think if she would have taken the belt and the necklace that Gigi's wearing and thrown it on that outfit, it would have given the color. Bobby. Yes. Yes. Wow. That, yes. that would have been perfect. If you blend the two good outfits together, eye. that would have been good. But, yes, I agree. But overall, they I think- They look really they look, cute and happy. I love the hat on They look comfortable, and yeah. they look like when, if there is a breeze, they're gonna catch it in the outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They just look a dress, very nice, I think very nice. a simple dress like that, that she's wearing is a good option for Coachella, so I think we can agree to agree. Swipe, yes. swipe right. right. Absolutely. Coachella picks aren't the only thing going viral. Recently, one of the members of One Direction left the band. Our Cheer. Sarah Gerard <laughs> has more about this and more on Viral Vault. Welcome back to the Viral Vault. This time, we're taking a different direction with things. Well, just one. One Direction. Unless you've been completely oblivious to the media world, everyone knows about the boy band's recent breakaway. Zayn Malik officially announced he'll be leaving One Direction for good, but not without the proper reaction from fans, of course. Let's just say people were drowning in the tears of many young women that day. That being said, BuzzFeed News reported that Spotify streams of One Direction songs went up 800% since the news broke, with a stream of sadness coming up around 5 p.m. that day. A few shared the news with their parents. Some were more concerned than others. But the bigger news here is that even though Zayn said the reason for his departure had to do with feeling stressed, shortly after his announcement, Naughty Boy Music tweeted out Zayn's secret solo track. Now directioners are in even more turmoil. Is Zayn lying about wanting to be a regular 22-year-old? Or is he just planning his own solo career? Or more importantly, who will take his place? Kanye, perhaps? Unless these questions start getting answered, we're just going to have to live with the fact that the Fab Five is now the Fab Four. It truly is a tragedy. That's all we have locked up this week. I'm Sarah Girard with The Viral Vault, signing off. So Zayn and One Direction weren't the only big breakup of the year. Now we're gonna take a look back at the splits that have happened since our first episode to our last.
And with that, yes. we end this episode of The Bite. Mm. It's been an amazing run, y'all. And I cannot believe this is my final episode. Yeah, oh. try not to cry. Yes. Mm. But I think we have big things ahead of us. What What are your plans after graduation? God willing, I get a job in either New York or LA, oh, and that's the plan. Will. So. You will, you will. Thanks for the bite. Is coming for you. Yep. Yeah, girl. And while I won't be traveling that far, I'll stay in Gainesville. I'm actually going to be going to the UF Law School. I won't be on the bite, but congratulations. Yeah, thank, thank you. Maybe I'll stop by next year and make a surprise appearance. The bite, the bite is bigger and better things. Maybe, maybe you can be our really lawyer. Happy. You know. So yeah. Sorry. Our lawyer. <laughs> All of us Hopefully in we don't need a lawyer, I but. <laughs> Hopefully we do. Ooh. Maybe we'll be Signing bigger. contracts? Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'll be staying in Gainesville. I'm working at TV20, so that's going to be exciting. Ooh, make yeah. that money, girl. Yeah, maybe a little bit of meteorology, too. Oh, yes. Not I, just, I wish I did more episodes this year. Oh, oh okay. okay. He was in every episode but one. But one. And with that, it's time for us <laughs> to say our final goodbyes. But before we do that, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll have more content uploaded throughout the summer and then we'll be back in August. But for now, I'm Bobby Desmond. I'm Danielle Prinz. I'm Andrea Newport-Jones. I'm Kelvin Ramirez. And I'm Lauren Crawford. This isn't goodbye. See you later. Thanks, guys. We love you. Bye.